welcome to the second episode of the Pen Tool series. Our last video was a detailed introduction where we explained how to create solid vector shapes using the Pen Tool. In this tutorial we're going to jump straight into today's Pen Tool session where I'll show you how to achieve smooth brush stroke control. Now I would strongly recommend that if this is your first time using the Pen Tool it would be a great idea for you to go back and watch the first episode and that, that would just help you get started. Now you may or may not have noticed this large HD wallpaper on my screen. Well it's actually been created especially for this series and it's available for download so do check it out um, the links are in the description of this video. Now before we start I'll just mention our usual disclaimer um, for our PC users. We do use Macs and Macs only and um, so if you are a PC user you'll have to forgive me in advance for not mentioning the relevant PC shortcuts. To help you out though, um, what I will be doing is mention the full term for any shortcuts that I do use in this tu tutorial, just to give you the opportunity to, to locate the all functions uh, mentioned um, for your PC. So today we'll be um, working um, from the same worksheet that we used in the last video. Um, as you can see, um, as you can see, uh, uh, we won't need to worry with any Photoshop grids for the moment, um, simply because uh, I've incorporated that in the, in the grid lines for you. Um, for this worksheet. Um, now if you look at the bottom right of this worksheet you'll also see um, eight pen tool icons. Now this is just there to give you a constant reminder as to what each function does. Okay so now you should have an understanding as to the layout of the worksheet. Let's start making some strokes. Okay so first things first um, what we're going to need to do is create a new layer. Now um, we're always going to need to create a new layer every time we create a new stroke for a new path. Okay, so now we've got our new layer, um, let's go ahead and select the brush that we want to use. So go over to the brush, um, and that's on the left toolbar, and then we want to change some of the options on that brush. So go over to the options part of that, and we want to make sure that we've got a brush size uh, at 20 pixels, and the hardness is set at 100% as we've got there. Okay, fantastic, so our brush is sorted. So um, also, well, what you're going to need to remember to do is, with this effect that we're going to be doing, it's very important that we have this um, ta tablet pressure control size um, set on. If this isn't set, um, if this isn't checked or ticked or whatever you want to call it, then we're not going to be able to do this, um, this technique at all. So it's very important that you check that um, on. Now, we're going to get over to this square. So let's go over and select our pen tool. And what we're going to want to do is um, click in the, in the middle of the, the circle um, the yellow circle. Um, now this is going to basically um, where our first anchor point is going to go. Now before we do that, we want to make sure that we have um, our paths option selected. So I've clicked there, but we can just go over and just check that we're using um, the path option. If you hover over that one there, uh, we've got shapes layer, and then we've got paths, and then we've got fill pixels. So you want to make sure we have the paths selected because we're creating paths and not a vector shape. Um, so click the next um, uh, circle and click all of the circles clockwise. Now just bear in mind that the circles represent anchor points. So just go ahead and um, fill those in clockwise. And as we go over to close this path, we're gonna hover over the, the first path that we create, first anchor that we created, sorry. Um, and that's gonna show us the, the close path symbol as demonstrated at the bottom of this um, worksheet. Now we've closed that off. Um, so now here's where the fun really begins. Now we're gonna create our, our strokes. Now to do that, we need to click control on our keypad and then we want to um, click the mouse on that path and let's come up with some options here. Now we want to select stroke path. Okay, and as we um, click that, you're going to see now um, some other options have come up. Now this is basically asking us, okay, well you want to stroke the path, what do you want to stroke the path with? And we want to make sure that the tool is set to the brush as it already is there. If you haven't got that set to, to the brush already, you can change that there. We also want to make sure that the simulate pressure is checked on as it is here. So that's done fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and press OK. Um, as you can see there, it's given us a nice um, brush stroke and it's, um, it's simulated a, a pressure, not giving us a 20 pixel brush going um, from, from uh, anchor point to anchor point, but it's actually given us a nice natural progression as to the desired thickness rather than the 20 pixels around each point. Okay, and there's basically um, how you have your, you now have your first brush stroke created using the paths. Okay, so we're going to move on to do the next one, but before we do that, it's important to press enter to get rid of that path. Okay, so let's go ahead and do um, the same thing on the triangle, but what we're going to do first, we need to create a new layer. And on this one, we're going to just uh, change the brush slightly. So go over to your brush tool again. 
And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to change the hardness of this. So at the moment it's set to 100%. So we want to go up to the tool um, the, the, the toolbar at the top and we want to select on that. And we just want to change the hardness to 0% as opposed to 100%. Keep the brush size the same. Okay, now that's I'm fine with that, we want to select um, the, the pen tool. So go ahead and select the pen tool. And now we've already created our new layer, so we can go ahead and start clicking around the, the, the anchor points for this um, for this triangle. Um, clicking there and there, and we're going to close it off again. As you can see there, the closed path um, uh, icon shows up. Then we want to click Control on, on our keypad and then click um, uh, on the actual path, and then stroke paths. Um, and then we're going to uh, keep the simulate um, pressure and then keep the tool as the brush. Press OK. And as, a, as I'm sure you would have imagined, um, now we have a much softer brush. Um, so we often use a softer brush, um, we change the harshness of a brush when producing custom glow strokes or when we're just detailing and finalizing um, the finish of a, of a logo. And that look gives us a really neat effect. Okay, so now let's try it again. Um, now this time we're gonna go on to the Pentagon. Again, we need to press enter to get rid of that path. Okay, and again, we need to create a new layer Otherwise, we're going to be um, creating a path on top of the layer we've just done. We don't want to do that. Okay, and we're going to um, go and uh, select the brush again. Now, this time we're going to whack that. Um, we're going to set the brush, and we're going to whack the the harshness all the way back up to 100%. Okay, and then we're going to go back onto our pen tool, and then we're going to um, click around the pentagon just as we did with the triangle and the square. Okay, so let's go ahead and click these anchor points. Okay, so we've closed that off and we're gonna um, hold control just as we did with the last one, stroke path. Now, on this one, um, we're gonna do um, something slightly different. We're gonna untick simulate pressure. Um, now, the reason why we're doing this is because we, uh, uh, for the last ones, we it was, um, uh, we, it gave us a nice gradual um, progression around the whole of the, 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 the shape. Now, what we're doing now is by not ticking the simulate pressure, uh, let's see what that does. Now, as you can see, that's given us a nice thickness um, around uh, the, a nice thick, consistent stroke around the whole of the pentagon, um, which is the 20 pixel um, brush that we that we picked before. OK, so that looks really cool to me. What I want to just quickly show you, though, is, is how this can be used with a different type of of brush. So what I'm going to do is just quickly create another layer. So if we go back over to the layer section, click new layer and then let's go over to the brush. Okay, um, let's change the brush here. Now, we're going to select the brush options. Now, if you could just hover over this uh, little triangle um, within the circle there, that's going to give us some, some drop down options. We want to select wet media brush. Okay, select wet media brushes. And then that's going to ask us um, to append it or just okay, we want to append it. Okay, and if we scroll down to the bottom of our brushes now, we'll see some extra brushes that we've got there now. So if we scroll up just a little bit, um, we want to select on this one here. Um, it's got a 95. Um, size pixel um, brush and that's um, the, the comb brush um, so let's go ahead and, and just come off of that and go back um, in fact we want to change the color first as well because I want you to see exactly what we're doing so I'm just going to swatch the top color we've got up there um, and press OK okay now this this is just going to allow you to, to see exactly what we're doing here um, now let's create a new layer I thought I'd done that already but let's do it again anyway click new layer great and now we want to go back to the pen tool. Okay, now this is going to show us how to create some really cool um, techniques with other brushes. So go ahead and do the same thing we've done before. Press Control, and then we want to click on that, and then click Stroke Path. Um, now on this one, we're not going to simulate the pen pressure, but let's see exactly what happens. So go ahead and press OK. Now, as you can see there, even though we didn't um, tick simulate pressure, it's kind of given us its own little angles. Now, that's because this brush came with its own angles and own different shapes. And as you can see, it's got its own little texture going on there as well. So just be aware of what type of brush you're using when you're um, simulating um, the, the brush pressure and when you're not simulating the brush pressure. But also use this to create some really cool techniques as well. Okay, that, that was just a little extra just to show you what else you could do with that. Okay, so now we've done that, um, let's move on to the, the circle. Now the circle is going to be, um, going to be, we're going to approach it in a very similar way to how we made the last three shapes. 
However, we're going to do two things differently. Um, firstly, we're going to be working with handles um, with this. So before we start doing this, we need to just make sure we press enter to get rid of that last path. And then we're going to, um, we're going to create a new layer. Okay. Um, and now we, we want to actually get the brush back that we had before. So let's go and change that brush. Um, otherwise, we're going to have some crazy angles on this brush. Um, so scroll all the way back up to the top, click any brush. And then we want to just change that size to 20 pixel. Keep the harshness at um, 100%. Let's just enter that. Fantastic. Okay, now let's pick our pen tool back up again. Okay, and now we're gonna we're gonna go around um, the the anchor points. However, this time what we're gonna do, um, like I say, we're gonna be using handles with this with this one. Um, and what we're also gonna be doing, we're not gonna be closing off the path. Um, so this is gonna give us um, a nice um, a nice. Uh, kind of curve stroke rather than a full shape. So let's go ahead and do this. Now before starting this curve um, it's important that we hold our finger down on the shift key. So go ahead and hold your finger on the shift key and keeping your hand on the shift key now I want you to click and hold the center of the circle um, just to create your first anchor point. Now as we're holding that I want you to just drag upwards um, and pull the handles out until about there. Now we've actually um, uh, labeled out um, or indicated where the handles should go. Um, now this is just going to give us a nice consistent curve um, from, from this anchor point to the next. Okay, so go ahead and let that go. And we want to follow that same step um, for the next two anchor points again. So hold shift, click on the center, and then drag that right out to about there. Okay, and then again for the next point, hold shift, drag out, okay. And then on the last one, we want to hold shift, drag it back out again. Okay, and stop there. Okay, that's fantastic. Now I've gone a little bit out, but it's okay. It's just a little example. So now you can see we haven't actually closed off the path. So if we was to actually start using the pen tool anywhere else now, it will continue from this point, but that's not what we want it to do. What we're going to do now is, is simply press control. Just as we've done with the last one, press control and then go to stroke path. And then we're not going to simulate the, the pressure, okay? Um, but we're going to press OK. Okay. Now, as you can see there, it's given us a nice consistent thickness um, across the stroke. It's not completed the shape of, but it's given us a nice curve. Um, and that's exactly as we wanted it. So, uh, and, and, and that just shows you how we can create um, a, a, a curve without actually closing off the path. Now, what we want to do is just go ahead and press Enter. And now if we wanted to, we can go and create some more paths and do, do whatever else we wanted to as well. Now, um, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's pretty much how you control your brush strokes with the pen tool. Um, so I, I really do hope you found this an easy to follow tutorial and you've gained a little bit more confidence through doing this exercise. So be sure to comment, um, like, and also send us your video responses to let us know uh, what designs this tutorial has inspired you to come up with. Now, do remember both the wallpaper and the exercise sheet um, both used today um, can be um, downloaded within the description from this video. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video where we'll be looking at creating paths um, with uh, creating patterns, beg your pardon, with the pen tool.